In today's video, I would like to look at a few options for sealing or protecting furniture that you've painted with chalk paint. In a recent video, I painted a piece of furniture and was really undecided about what type of top coat it needed. I did encourage feedback in my video and I did get some great ideas from several of you. So thank you to all of those who contributed ideas and who watched my video. Here's the piece with chalk paint and no top coat. And here's the piece before I painted it. Now this piece did have some water damage on top, but otherwise was in good condition. To experiment with these four top coats that I was considering, I decided to take a piece of remnant wood that had some molding on it and see if I could recreate enough options to help me make the decision. I used the same colors and that was mud paint, mineral paint in stone and manor white. And then I taped it off into four sections so I could try each one and compare. Since some of you suggested I distress the table, I tried that on three of these sections. So on the first section, I'll be using a matte clear coat. On the second section, I'm gonna use just clear wax. On the third section, I'll use a dark wax. And then on the fourth section, I'll use a white wax. And because the white wax that I used was a liquid wax, it did distress the paint a little bit as I was um, buffing it off. And I think one thing that complicates this a little bit is the space left from where I put the tape. But when you look at this, if you'll just try to remember to separate out the four section and judge it, just knowing that the first section is clear matte top coat, second section is clear wax, third section is dark wax, fourth section is white wax. I decided to go with a clear matte finish on this. The look that I was going for was just a clean, crisp look. Although I do like the other finishes and I did appreciate them with some distressing, I think the look I chose for this piece or the look I had in mind when I started painting this piece was just a clean, smooth, finish that was more in line with country French furniture. Now I will acknowledge that a lot of country French furniture has distressing or chipping um, and has different design than what I've created here, but that's part of the fun of painting furniture and creating your own designs. So I encourage you to experiment with these and other products. These are just the ones I had on hand. I will post a list of supplies in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.